Hello, Galactic Survivors. Uh, we're back in Empire Run. Hopefully I said that better than I did last time. And we're gonna be showing off tiers, I believe, four and five. There's a couple, and it's gonna be a bit of a short one, because I kinda wanna say the final tier of the hover vehicles for its own thing, because there's a bit of a jump. Anyways, we're gonna take a look at them and see what you can get if you are willing to go around for a bit more material. Anyways, we're going to start off with tier 3A. Oh, yeah. 3, 4, and 5. Well, kind of. You need a fair amount of iron, copper, and silicon, so it's three basic materials. You should be able to find it on your starting world, hopefully, depending on which one you pick. Um, we're gonna slap it down. I better get the first person last time I was my vehicle going off somewhere. Okay, this one has some heavy weapons on it already. Four Gatling in the front and four minigun defense turrets. Not bad. Not bad if you need something with heavy um, automatic defense. But what does it have? It has only one cargo box. Yeah, it's sizable, but it has a fridge, so you could keep food in there, that way it doesn't spoil, but it's a little tiny, so you got to be careful of that. Uh, two fuel tanks, so you could stay on a fuel for a while, not bad. One oxygen tank, so you got to be careful of that. Uh, like we saw on top of it, add four minigun turrets. Not the strongest, but still, they're automatic, so they'll be shooting at anything that is registered as these. Oh, that's kinda cool. The target their own stuff. Sweet. Yeah, the Gatling, which are okay, but meh. And that's the case. And those are the finer points. But... Let's fill it up and see what, how fast this thing is and how it kinda performs. Okay, off the bat, it really <laughs> accelerates. Ooh, I better get a little height before I get stuck in the water. Okay, so it definitely accelerates fast, which is pretty good. Oh shoot, it looks like the turrets were targeting something. I hope they're not targeting that net building. Alright. They're going to stop. And just floor it. Alright, so it goes a little bit faster, but not that much. Just uh, point 0.1. And crash it into the building. I don't know why, but that just seems fun. If you want to recreate like a bland crash landing, there you go. But overall, I'd say this is not bad. I'd, I'd probably use it if I wanted like a. I guess a Lamborghini style hovercraft of the game, unless somebody creates something that's better. Only thing is, this sword is a little tiny. Can't really do too much about that. But then again, bridges are pain a lot to use. Now, this one from the little picture looks a little weird. I don't know what to think. Oh, hey, it looks like a bumper car. Okay, it's like Speed Racer with a bunch of saws on it. Mad Max much? Ooh, I kinda like the upside down alien skull thing. Two turrets, okay, so it has some defense. Let's fuel her up and see what she has. Okay, one cargo box. That's something. And a fridge. Two fuel tanks. Oh, this must be a harvester. Yeah, this must be like a tree harvester or something. Uh, I can't access it. And two oxygen tanks. Mm, not too bad. So if you need like a quick harvest, there you go. So this would be like your harvester thing. Okay, the turrets are like aiming at some people over there. Must be aiming at the NPCs. 
Sorry, no, you can't destroy them. By the way, in this game, turrets have a real long range, which I really like. In other games, turrets have a really poor range, and it kinda. I don't know, it really soggies my pancakes. That was, that was a whole thing. But seriously, I'm happy that these turrets have such a long range. Only thing is, I kinda hope that they make it so that you could customize how many enemies are. But, this vehicle, and eh, not too bad, it's kinda fast. Well, as a fast top speed, acceleration's a little slow. You can harvest things, so if you like run into stuff, you can harvest. But we're not going to do that right now! Just slam into the buildings. This is gonna be pretty much a junkyard. Uh, usually I could get the resources that I really need on my own. It's, it's really not that difficult once you get started. But let's see what we got. We got five. There's only one five. And this one might be interesting. That looks like a hoverboat. Oh boy. This is another harvester. Looks like it has a bigger gun on it too. Well, if we need some drilling, there you go. Hey, you got a mountain in the way? Oh, I'll take care of that. Huh. If you're going first person with this thing, it's a little difficult because there's a big cannon in the way. I don't know, I'm really weird. But seriously, um, uh, not too easy to see, but then again, most vehicles, you gotta go third person anyways. What do we got? We got a cargo box. Cargo box. Oops. Ooh, that one's bigger. Okay. Uh, we got two fuel tanks. That's nice. Of course that. Oh! The turret is a drill. Uh, how big are these cargo boxes? Eh, not that big. But if you need to mine like a ton of resources, there you go. Uh, that's two oxygen tanks. And that's about it. There's no real defensive um, thing on this, so this would not be too good if you really wanted to use it for any type of thing, any type of offensive ability, or if you're going anywhere hostile, you just select your drill bonus, just like that. The acceleration is slow, the normal top speed of 35 meters per second. I kinda don't wanna damage this world because it's kind of a nice world, but yeah. I'll just have to take this thing out in the space! Oh! 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 oh. Uh, it's not bad. I'll probably uh, use it uh, if I can go mine out in space, but for now I'm gonna mine this building! What of many of my treasures? But, eh, kinda cool if you want to like an industrial looking, uh, vehicle. Probably slap a turret or two on it just in case. Cause there are random attacks here and there, especially at night and ow. And it also depends on what world you're on. The more and more hostile the worse it gets. But, like I said, that was a bit of a short one. That was tier 3A. Four and five. I'm probably gonna whip up a six in a bit because I'm on a roll today. Again, the tier three A not too bad if you want like the game's version of a Lamborghini. Fast. Look. Storage is tiny, but it has really good defensive and offensive power. The uh, I guess tree harvester vehicle with two turrets. Not too bad, has a little defensive power. And then you have the mole, which could probably dig underground. I've never actually dug all the way down, so I don't know how far down you can dig, but I know you can go all the way up into space and there's 
pretty much endless space. I think if I read the meters right, it would take you a full literal year to get to another planet. Which I have to say, pretty cool. It means that you could create so many things out in space. But we'll get to that when we get to the bigger things. Anyways, that's it for this group of hover vehicles. Hopefully you enjoyed on this somewhat informative if you're thinking about getting the game. And I'll see you when we check out all four of the tier 6 vehicles. See you in the next.